the line. We'll start in three, two, one, go. The Blue Alliance currently holds the world high score for playoffs with no penalties. The Red Alliance wants to stay in the upper bracket. And based on what we see there, this is going to be tooth and nail to the bitter end. We have got Blue Alliance scoring. Outliers putting up a cube in the middle row. Their Alliance partner, Omega Byte, scoring in the top row. Over on the Red Alliance, 1756 Argos. Completing a link in the top row right there behind him. 5940 Bread scoring a cone in the top row. 4766 up on two wheels coming over the top of the charge station with a cube. Scoring that in the bottom row. Blue Alliance with a slight advantage. Oh no, 1756 over Argos on their side. Let's hope that they can figure out a way to get themselves righted for this match. 57-27, completing a link in the top row for the Blue Alliance. 47-66, tipping but scoring. You got up on two wheels as they come over the top of the charge station. Red Alliance now ahead, 117 to 113, despite being down one robot. Blue Alliance starting to surge. 47-66, putting a cube in the bottom row. 57-27, completing a link in the middle row. There goes 49-40, scoring in the middle row as well. Only a few spots remaining in each grid as we work towards 30 seconds. Outliers coming in with a cone, confident at completing the grid. Two more game pieces required to get that done. Here comes 57-27 with a cube and their alliance partner right behind them. We're tied at 154 with 12 seconds remaining. Grid incomplete on the blue alliance side. Red alliance looking to get two robots docked and engaged that can travel. And blue alliance, three robots docked and engaged. We have six. Blue Alliance with 184. The charge station, 10 additional points in the charge station, making the difference for the Blue Alliance. This means that the Blue Alliance will advance into match 11 in round.